So good afternoon. We're here still at um, Embedded World here in Nuremberg. And we've taken the opportunity this week to launch the new Picascope 6000E series um, Picascopes, the uh, 500 megahertz eight channel models and uh, created a lot of interest from our customers, mixed signal capabilities with both analog and digital signals. Now, one of the frequent jobs that these and other picoscopes are used for is decoding uh, serial data, looking at the low speed serial buses that are so prevalent within today's embedded systems. So the, I've got an example here. It's, it's very simple. It's uh, just a basic I squared C bus and we're looking at the on the, the purple trace here at the bottom we're looking at the clock information at the top it's the blue trace so I want to show you how to decode that data uh, using the tools in here so we first of all are going to select serial decoding and from that list of 21 possible decoders that are included as standard with uh, the Picascope software we will select I squared C, and then that brings up a little uh, setup panel. So I have to tell the decoder on which channel is the data. And in this case, it's uh, channel A. On which channel is the clock? And here it's channel E. Uh, the software does a little bit of calculation to work out where the optimum threshold points are on both of those channels. It also looks at the transition timing to figure out automatically what the transition, what the, what the bit rate is. So in this case, it's 100 kilobit per second bit rate, and we can give it a name if we wish to, and then we can decode data um, either in the graph or in, in a tabular form. So for the moment, I'll untick the, the table, and we'll just look at the decoding in the graph. Well, okay, that's okay, that up pops the, the decoded data. So we can start running the, 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 the scope now. Okay, so now we're, we're seeing each of those packets de decoded uh, one by one, making it much easier to read and understand what's going on in the device under test than, than would otherwise be the case. Now, I mentioned that uh, it is also possible to look at uh, information in a tabular form. So we've got, uh, first of all, the decoded data in the graph. If I put the cursor there on that particular packet of information, we can see what the packet number is, the start and the stop time, the number of address bits, whether it's seven or 10, uh, the address, 8F in this case, the read write, and then the, the data uh, uh, payload. But if uh, if you're looking at a in looking at it in a, and you want to understand what it is in a programming sense, you probably would want to look at the information not so much in a graphical format, but in a tabular format, which we can add by ticking the table box here. Okay, that and it <coughs> it then will give us a table of the uh, of the acquired packets. So all of the packets, uh, tens, hundreds, or thousands, depending on the complexity of the task that you're trying to uh, achieve, and that same information that laid out from, from top to bottom there. So that's it. It's very, very easy, very straightforward, very powerful, and uh, you know, a, a common task that is being undertaken by users of the, of the, of the scope um, in the work that they're doing to debug their systems.